Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. Uh, today we're going to be looking at different potential video editing options for Chrome OS Flex. And there are actually some uh, web-based video editors out there. And I'm not talking about those today. We can do a separate video on that at some point if you want me to check some of those out. These are all ones that you set up using the Linux environment on Chrome OS Flex. So first of all, if you want to try any of these you are going to need to have Linux working on your Chrome OS and if you're using real Chrome OS I think it's actually a lot easier if you're using flex it doesn't work on a lot of laptops check out my video on it just know that if you can't get Linux working you're not going to be able to do any of these I also installed all these using Flatpak and so if you want to get flat hubs and flat pack set up on your Chrome device check out my video on that too here are the editors that I installed Again, you can find all these on FlatHub. First uh, one, I did Caden Live, which I just clicked on, which is going to open. This is a pretty capable and pretty full featured Linux video editor. Anybody who's done video editing on Linux, I assume, probably knows about Caden Live. The other one I tried to install is um, OpenShot. This one doesn't perform as good. It doesn't have as many features, but it is a little easier to use than Caden Live. I've used it for some videos before myself. It's a uh, it's a pretty capable application. A lot of people don't like it, but it is easy to use. And then I also installed one that is super easy to use. It is called PTV or PTV or something like that. This is this some sometimes comes installed as default on GNOME distributions. But it is even more dumbed down, pretty basic video editor. Kind of, I'd compare it to like an iMovie. Um, it's even less capable than the other ones I've talked about. But it installs, it works. And then finally, if you're just uh, clipping videos together or doing conversions and stuff, the uh, Avid Mux or AVI, I don't know how to pronounce anything, Avid Mux, it's on here and it works too. Now, I can verify that all these work. Would I do video editing on this old laptop? No. But the options there. Now, one thing that you got to know that is a problem with all these across the board using Chrome OS. Let's just open OpenShot for a minute. If I was doing this on an actual Linux distribution, I could take a file, say one of my YouTube videos, and I could just drag and drop it into the editor and it would work. Uh, for Linux apps on Chrome OS Flex, as of right now, the drag and drop doesn't work. So you're going to have to import them manually. And in order to do that, you're going to have to make sure the folder you have them saved in is shared with Linux. So my particular YouTube videos folder here is shared with Linux. If your folder isn't, you can right click on it and say, well, this one's shared with Linux too. I'd have to take one that's not shared. Right click on it, and you can say share with Linux and that makes that folder available to Linux. At that point I could say import files and um, basically to find your Linux files you'd have to go to other locations computer and I think it's under mount MNT Chrome OS my files and then there you'll find your folders that you've shared with Linux and from there you can import a video. So that's uh, one thing where it's going to be a little more of a hassle than if you're doing it just on an actual Linux box. But um, here, let me just import one more clip. Oh, what did I do? Is that the same one I just... Okay. <laughs> okay, let me just put another one in here just to show you. Um, I just throw these both on the track. This is going to be a pretty basic and dumbed down version of a video. Then I can go to export and export it and it'll go ahead and do its thing. And we, we don't have to sit there and watch the whole thing. It is saving it to the home BA stackline folder by default. If you want to find that when you get back to Chrome OS, you go to your files, you go to Linux files and it would be just right in here. In fact, there's my untitled project at the bottom rendering right now. So, video editing, it is possible. Um, I've just showed you four different editors you can use. I know there's others out there. 
it's not difficult. It works. Um, it's just not as smooth as it would be on a normal Linux distribution, but it's there. Once again, if you cannot get the Linux environment working on your laptop, which a lot of people can't right now on Chrome OS Flex, then none of these are going to work for you. And I know there's web-based editors out there. I'm not that familiar with them, but if people are interested in that, I can research it and check it out. But for now, um, if you can get Linux working on here, you can do some basic editing. Now, would I do that on a slow laptop like this? No. Case in point, I just took two short, low-resolution videos, and I mean, I'm going to sit here for like an hour waiting for them to render. So there's that. But if you're in a bind and you need to do some basic stuff, you can, and it works. So that's uh, just a brief look at some video editing options on Chrome OS Flex and regular Chrome OS. If uh, you have anything else you want me to check out or if you want me to go more in depth on one of these particular editors, you can let me know. Other than that, I thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see other Chrome OS and Linux related content. Like the video if you liked it. It sure helped me. And until next time, I hope you all have a good day. Bye now.